What's good? Next project, uh, interesting project this time around. I'm gonna be painting this oven right here. It's gonna be like a street vibe, so it's gonna be um, concrete, graffiti, slap stickers, all that good stuff. Uh, it's a pizza oven, and so this restaurant just had the idea to paint the oven. Uh, it's viewable 360 degrees, which is gonna be cool. So I'm gonna be painting the whole, whole scope of it. Uh, gotta wear this hard hat because this is a construction site still, and so there's still a lot of moving parts and it's still in the construction. So, gotta wear this bad boy whenever people are working. And um, luckily, if I'm here like after five or before like eight o'clock, I don't have to wear it. So, hopefully, we can get some long nights, early mornings in. But, I'm gonna get to it. Got this gray right here. I'm gonna give it a base. Great base coat. And get started. So, as you can see, we got some outline action going on. So, essentially, the past few nights I've been here when it's pitch, pitch black, no one's here, and using my projector to shoot the images on there, and then I'll trace them out, and that's what we have here. As you can see, I also started to paint a little bit of the background. The, uh, it's gonna be like a urban feel, so it's gonna be like weathered concrete, graffiti, and slapstickers, kind of like I already mentioned, but kind of getting into that weather graffiti look a little bit and then writing some random stuff with the spray paint just to give it that that urban look. And it's just gonna be about doing something. It's very intuitive, so I'm just gonna do something and see how that looks. If it looks weird, then I'll switch it up, paint over it, and just keep stacking layers, and I think it'll build up to look nice at the end. But Keep gonna keep knocking out this concrete, give myself an idea of what it's gonna look like, but chugging along and excited to start painting. So, since we last talked, I got a little bit to get out of the way. Sticker started, started on this guy, like I said, down here, but it's very vibrant um, green, and I won't be able to. Be able to mix that so i'm gonna have to wait to go to the store for that one but probably gonna knock this guy out tonight this one that one up there maybe this one as you can see i did some like background effects like i said just random graffiti wrote some wrote a random word right there it says out give but like super super sketchy um but yeah this will be blacked out like I said, just making intuitive decisions that will get covered up or brought forward later down the line, but. What's good? So here you see a time-lapse, more intricate, detailed version of each sticker. And uh, after doing these two, I figured you guys wouldn't want to watch me time-lapse each sticker. And so I decided to do these quick cuts. Each time I finish the sticker, I just do a cut to each one. These stickers are a blend between two different cities, Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is where the oven is located, and Naples, Italy, which is where the uh, restaurant owners met and where they learned how to make pizza. And so they wanted to blend the two. So you'll see like uh, New Mexico Lobos, New Mexico United, um, the Naples soccer team, Diego Maradona, who's a famous soccer player that played there, and just other various symbols that represent both towns, Mount Vesuvius, balloons, and it goes on and on. But 
yeah, they had that idea to blend those two. And so that's what we did. And then at this point, I cut out the Amore, the name of the restaurant, and put pizza in the space where the name is. So it looked like when you're buying pizza that there's actually pizza in the oven. Um, thought that was a cool touch. But yeah, hope you enjoy it and keep it pushing. Here's the final product. We got some eyes right at the oven entry. The owner wanted uh, their eyes right there. To make sure they're, uh, everyone's making the pizza right. As you can see, I added some highlights on the stickers just to give them some like creases in there. And we move around. I think it came out well, pretty happy with it. The uh, coronavirus outbreak was happening right as I was finishing up, so I didn't get to do everything that I wanted. Um, include get some better shots like dang look how shaky that is but we got it done um, yeah so I'm happy with it hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one peace